Welcome, in front of me is a POCO F6 Pro and today I will show you how you can record screen on this device. So to get started, pull down your toggles by swiping down from the top of your screen. Now you do want to swipe down from the top right side specifically, this will give you the toggles. And then somewhere here you should see a screen recording toggle. Now there is no labels on it, so what you're looking for is this camera looking toggle right here. Click on it. It gives you an overlay with record button, folder which takes you to the screen recordings, uh, settings and close option. I'm gonna start recording, but before I do so, I'm gonna quickly mention that you could navigate before you do uh, to start recording into the settings and see if it's set uh, to your liking. As in here, you'll see things like, for instance, the resolution, bitrate, uh, the system or sound that is going to be recording and also frame rate. Frame rate uh, by default it's set to almost the most crappiest one possible uh, so I would recommend at least setting it to like 30 maybe uh, preferably 60 though keep in mind higher uh, frame rate will also increase the size that the actual uh, thing will take or actually to be more precise here it doesn't really do that bitrate defines the size uh, which increasing um, frame rate you should probably also increase bitrate if you see some kind of like blockiness to your recording so i would recommend once you change the settings to record it and then uh, view it and see if everything looks fine on the recording if it does that's fine if you see some kind of like squarish areas uh whenever you're doing some uh spontaneous movements on the screen uh then you might want to increase the bitrate now closing that off you can start recording I will be showing off Netflix as an example right here just because it's a prime example of uh, what not to do as a company um, and how to not be a greedy piece of shit of a uh, company, which Netflix is obviously. Uh, so uh, it is recording right now and the purpose of this video obviously is a screen recorder, but the reason I'm focusing on Netflix is because it comes pre-installed with the device, I am not logged in, and I'll also reject whatever garbage they want from me. So boom, reject. You can see content on here. Uh, right now, at least to the camera again on the screen. Uh, also, I can close this and I'll open up something else like weather as an example. And let's just allow. And here is some other example. Anyway, I'm going to stop the recording. There is an overlay so you can interact with it and click on the square. And this will save the screen recording to your photos application, which I will be opening up right now just so I can show you the screen recording. Uh, as you can see, it is going to be located under the camera album which you can see right here. If you see the albums right here, you can select camera or you might want to look for it right here. Anyway, topping on the recording, you can now view it. Now, the reason I was showing Netflix is because of this example right here. This is Netflix right now on the screen recording being recorded. As you remember, there was content being shown right here. I also selected uh, to reject uh, whatever garbage it wanted and additionally I also didn't sign in. So I have never under no circumstance agreed to any terms of service of the application yet the application has the ability to block the screen recorder. This option is designed for privacy and security and it's primarily used by bank applications but some shitty apps like Netflix uh, without my permission will utilize this and there's nothing I can do about it. Whenever you encounter just a straight up black screen just know that whatever piece of shit application you are trying to record decided that it wants more control over your own device then you have over it and there was the weather which works fine as a uh, example so um, like I said uh, option is an Android and applications can utilize this and this is for privacy and security and you can imagine how that might be so when it comes down to bank applications which can utilize this and as far as I know all do uh, as if you would have any kind of malware that is trying to spy on you uh, and see what kind of pins you're using for your bank applications and all that stuff all they would get is just a black screen now where it doesn't matter it doesn't make sense to have such a thing as Netflix I have better ways of pirating your content I'm not gonna be recording it I'm not even gonna pay you so this is just annoying middle finger from the company now, anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.